Oh my gosh, just hit 30,000 subscribers, crazy. So in around 2009, I actually started this YouTube channel. Yeah, didn't upload as much, you know, just putting practices and some solos and some performances here and there. But it wasn't until 2016 where my life changed. On August 18, 2016, he was born. <laughs> Simply witnessing his birth completely changed my view on life. And I decided to make some changes in 2016 on what I would share to the world. Yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving the park now. It started to thunder, so yeah. Luckily, we live like right there. So in September 2016, I decided to upload my first tutorial, and it was horrible. It was horrible. And we got caught in the rain. <laughs> it's raining. Where did it come from? came from the skies. <laughs> uh, yeah, had to change the shirt. So, as I was saying, so my first tutorial wasn't the greatest, but I started to want to get in the habit of making these videos. Was not consistent at all. I would try and I don't know. I, I wasn't uh, comfortable and I'm still not comfortable talking in front of the camera, but I was just trying to get better and better at it. But I was not consistent. I really didn't give it my all. I didn't really try to make something happen or I don't know. But by the end of September 2017, I hit 1000 subscribers and that literally changed my drive and changed my passion and i had to really make a commitment and dedicate myself to try to be more consistent and build some sort of a channel so at the end of september 2017 i started tutorial thursdays where basically i would do some sort of conga tutorial or percussion tutorial every single thursday and i did that consistently for almost two years literally uploading a single video every thursday but in 2018 i wanted to add a little bit more so i started to upload some mondays so in 2018 i was kind of uploading every monday and every thursday and that was probably my busiest year even playing out and it was just crazy but by the end of 2018 i hit 10,000 subscribers and that was just crazy 10,000 people decided to hit a subscribe button that's just bananas and and it's just to me it still like shocks me like the amount of people are actually following and every day just adding and wow I, i'm learning something new i wish i saw this a year ago it's just crazy and in the beginning of 2019 i had that same determination had some personal goals in mind but you know i was still going to continue kind of uploading every monday and every thursday but at the same time i wanted to start something called taco tuesdays which basically is for my spanish-speaking audience that was asking and enjoyed how i taught was saying man can you do something just in Spanish? So basically every Tuesday now, or once in a while when I can, I basically do a tutorial that I did before in English, but I now make it in Spanish. But in May, 2019, me and my wife purchased our very first home. And it's kind of crazy. That was probably one of the biggest risks we both made in our lives and biggest commitments, you know, in a mortgage is completely different than paying rent, guys. That's completely different. We've been paying rent all of our lives and it's just kind of crazy that we had to really make a big change in commitment to buying a house and we wanted to make it our own so we renovated we made changes and it's just a lot of craziness and because of that i had to put a whole you know 
big break months months off not uploading anything and not doing anything on this channel so literally in 2019 i had like a three to four month hiatus wasn't settled in yet really didn't start uploading regularly until september of 2019 and even then i was very tired i was still working doing crazy things and it's like man time to get back at it time to get back on the grind it was kind of tough but nonetheless somehow we made it to 20,000 at the end of 2019 but i was feeling burnt out man I, i've i never felt burnt out before and to editing and doing all this stuff uploading every monday at the time i was doing taco tuesdays too every tuesday and then doing tutorial thursdays i was literally burnt out so yeah, no, I need to take care of myself. That's like the most important part. I can't neglect my family, can't neglect nothing of that because, you know, then you start to lose yourself and start messing things up in your life and you don't want to do that. So in January, 2020, I decided to take a month break because yeah, I personally needed it. And it's crazy because in the month of January, I really didn't upload anything at all to this channel. And yet somehow, we gained a thousand subscribers just that month. And I was like, this is crazy. Like what took me a year, two years ago, now happened in a month without me doing a thing. And that's really because of you guys, you guys sharing it, you guys commenting and suggesting it to other people. It was literally because of you guys sharing it that the channel kept on growing in spite of me being absent. And in February, I tried to get back to it. And then March, I tried to get back to it. And yeah, you, we already know what happened mid-March. Basically, the whole world shut down. And I was super excited because this year, I had so many things planned that weren't really tutorials, but more on-site type of things and more behind the scenes look on what it is to work as a professional musician and to do all that stuff. I, I really wanted to take you guys on that type of adventure aside from also doing these tutorials. And literally what I had planned for 2020 was now out the window. And even though I thought, man, okay, maybe I'm gonna be stuck at home and I have a chance to do a bunch of videos and all of this, but that very same reason, the very same reason that motivated me to start this channel which is my son he was so needy and he wanted so much attention and who am i not to give it to him i had this opportunity and to me it was just like a blessing in disguise because i was at home i was with him yes i had my time to practice and my time to do certain videos but what i originally thought of making so many videos that was even gone but yet during this time that we've been shut down literally what took us a year to do the previous years to get to 10,000 more, we were able to accomplish that in half a year. And it was literally because of you guys. Yeah, some of my videos changed and the way I did them and how I'm presenting them. And the reason why is because I, I do want to continue doing these tutorials and I'll continue to do them. Don't worry, guys, that's not changing. But just how I'm going to present them will be changing. We're still going to learn step by step. We're still going to cover those thumbbells and cover all these elements but just how we are going to transmit them and how we're going to be able to do them has to change because i don't want to get bored and i don't want you guys to get bored and if i start getting bored then maybe you guys are going to start getting bored and when i see that now 30,000 people are on this channel it just shocks me that man like this is this is crazy. This is a lot of people. 30,000. Like, do you know how much that that's just crazy and it's unbelievable that even though we have 30,000 this channel is still considered a small channel. Nonetheless, I don't feel that way. I think it's unbelievable that a lot of percussionists and a lot of musicians are being added on daily wanting to learn something or get some insight or get a different angle and a different perspective and maybe want to learn about some sort of percussionist that they never heard before that is why we do this man that is that why i just enjoy sharing and and do it with such a passion because every time somebody says man thank you i would have never learned this without you it seriously impacts my heart hold on i think it's a little bit dark let me change something yeah i think that's a little bit better but this little quarantine and time we've had you know, not playing. I've been able to do things that I would have normally not had time to do and set up things the way I want to do them and kind of make this space a little bit more, you know, me and a little bit more, 
you know, calm so I can continue working making these videos. Anything that I make from these videos, I literally put it back in. I literally put it back in in either some sort of production equipment or software or something that can help make these videos just a little bit more pleasing, not just to the eyes, but to the ears, not just to your mind, but to your life. You know, I, I want these videos to be that. And, and when I get messages saying, man, I would have never learned this without one of your videos. Or I would have never have discovered this person without your videos. It seriously, seriously motivates me to continue making these videos. Videos. So for the 20,000 subscribers, I did say I was going to do a little giveaway. Didn't get a chance, of course, this quarantine was crazy, but I am going to do a giveaway for the 30,000 subscribers. And I am actually don't have it with me because I'm actually buying it from Minel. And it's going to be the Minel Percussion Backpack. I don't even own this. I want this for myself. And to be honest with you, man, I want to give it to somebody. When I saw them release it at NAMM, I was like, man, I want this backpack so bad. And it's a $100 backpack. Like, who buys a $100 backpack? But guess what? One lucky subscriber is going to have this backpack. But like the previous giveaway, I am very different and very personal when it comes to giving something away. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to submit your favorite tumbao or funk pattern or whatever variation that I've shown on this channel. You could also submit a bongo video, whatever martillo or funk pattern or whatever variation I showed on bongos. And just tell me briefly why that is your favorite tumbao or why is that your favorite variation in either one of those instruments. You could be a beginner, you could be an intermediate, you could be a maestro that plays way better than me. You could be whoever, man. I just want to see what tumbao or what variation on bongo or anything that has impacted you and I want to see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to react to the videos that you submit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an email here and I want you to submit it there and let me know. Again, I will not be crazy biased if you're unbelievably great or if you're just starting. The point is I want to be able to read it. I want to be able to see it and really feel if these videos really have impacted you guys. And then from there, I will personally choose who I think should you know, get that percussion back. 30,000 people, still crazy, it still baffles me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, man. I really appreciate you guys being on this journey with me. I know it's gonna be a long run and a long walk and everything, but we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna continue making these videos. We're gonna continue learning together and we're gonna continue to grow as a percussion community. You already know, man, it's a percussion life. All right, y'all, see you guys in the next video.